you guys, it's Rachel here with Senza Tempo County Corso. So, here with Savannah. Hey. And um, this is our new girl. And uh, Savannah is trying to name her Lilo. Lilo. <clears throat> her original name was Gracie. I'm not sure if that's her registered name or not, but I believe that's what they were calling her. Lilo. So, very cool story behind this dog. Um, originally, I had been offered this dog um, whenever I was, um, before I purchased Kona. And, um, and I passed on her for Kona because Kona is, um, you know, super nice dog. She's an adult and, um, and I, and, and it really had more to do with Idra's litter than anything else because Idra's litter was out of Kona's brother. So, um, passed on this female. Well, the breeder contacts me back and basically says, Hey, puppy's not working out in the new owner's home wanted to know if you wanted the dog and basically told me I could pay him whatever I, you know, um, could for the dog. And since it was, I wasn't really looking for anything. It was just kind of a spur of the moment thing. And, um, and he was just going to replace the dog. So told him, yep, not a problem at all. We agreed upon an amount and which I will say was substantially less than then I was originally looking at paying for her, um, but I was already, it wasn't because I didn't think the dog was worth it. It was just literally I was strapped because of Kona. I really wasn't in a position to buy two dogs um, at Mom this Morgan. time. I'm Morgan. And so, Preacher. anyway, so I get her and she's better than I ever could have imagined. Um, really? she's, a, she's a sweet girl. From what I've seen, confident. I don't see any issues in her temperament whatsoever. Um, she's a puppy. I mean, she's only six months old. So, Preacher. like any puppy, um, she's going to have moments of hesitation. But <clears throat> I haven't seen anything out of her. I mean, we just literally got her about an hour ago, maybe. Maybe two hours ago. I went to I went to Sally's and Savannah had her in the living room. So, we haven't been doing much with her. It's kind of why I'm filming kind of late. The sun's going down. But... <clears throat> I'm just really happy to have her. She walked right up to me um, the minute that the transport brought her. Um, transport said she was hesitant for the first day, but after that um, was, was totally fine. Um, and uh, that's Preacher. She's, she's never seen Preacher before. She tried to play with him. I don't want to let her off leash yet because I don't know her and i um, not confident that <laughs> she wouldn't just <clears throat> take off and not listen. Um I don't think she's been in the States very long, and so these dogs take a little bit to... There's differences in the Serbian um, people and American people, so there's differences in mannerisms and temperaments. There's difference, obviously, in language, and then, of course, it's a totally different time zone, so, um, so it takes them a while to just even be able to, you know, get used to the, to the change in time. But, um, but anyway, but I'm super, super, super excited to have her. Her mother is a very highly regarded, um, very successful dog in Europe as far as shows. I don't know if she's got any working titles. Um, I could ask her, um, her breeder about that, but she's got a lot of titles and she's won some very big shows in Europe. So super, super good pedigree on this dog. Um, and... Like I said, we really, I just feel like we really lucked out with her because, um, because she is so nice. And like I said, I, I almost bought her. I literally had even told him, yeah, I'm going to take her. And then, and then I ended up going with Kona. So, um, which Kona's from the same breeder, mind you. Um, <clears throat> no, you don't. But as you can see, she's got really good structure. Um, she's got a great front. Is that a goose somewhere? Goose. Um, she's got a great rear, great top line, a really good head. I'm I'm super excited. Yeah. What? No, oh, yeah, they're nope. No, they're coming though. Yeah. Oh, no, what? Like that it's so weird. I hear them everywhere. It's like echoing, so I can't really narrow it down. 
Okay, you did. Okay. It's probably because the sun's going down. So anyway, so just randomly, just out of nowhere, <laughs> I just got this female in the last... Uh, I just got her today, but it just randomly happened in the last two weeks, and... Um, it's just a it's just a blessing to have a dog of this caliber um made available to you at a um you know at a rate that you you literally can't um can't even believe you know what I mean and I'm just super happy we are her her um like I said Savannah's trying to name her Lilo if it works it works I don't really care I don't have a dog in the fight one way or the other what her name is um, but I always, so anytime I have a dog that is moving homes, like, like the last home didn't work out for whatever reason, it doesn't matter what the reason is, I will change the dog's name. Cone and I, is the only one, or is it Cone? huh? Is it Cone? No, it's like, if it doesn't work out, oh. I kept Asia's name. Mona, I changed cause I don't like Imola. It just, it, I just didn't like it. Yeah, I just it I just didn't like it. But um and you probably not even how you say it. It's probably like Imola or something. I don't know, whatever. I didn't like it. I liked Mona and it stuck. Um so sometimes I'll change it, but 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 what I will say is I will always change it if if it didn't work out. And the reason why is because and this is a weird thing to say cuz I'm a Christian. <laughs> but there's a part of me that's superstitious about names. And I just kind of feel like if it doesn't work out, like in order to reset, you have to change the name. It's a, it's a, I don't know, could totally be wrong, probably is wrong, but it's what I do. Tillicum, you need to be quiet. Tillicum is very mad that he's not out right now, but he's just going to have to get over it. So here's Preacher. Sweet baby Preacher. He's a sweet baby man. He's a sweet baby Preacher. He's a sweet boy. I'm running out of I'm running out of light, y'all. But um, I just wanted to try to get this video. Bro, don't knock me over. Rude, rude. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Really ew. Did, uh, Savannah, they they that's how they bathe. Stop. Everybody's got to bathe. Yeah, but he was so excited. He was just like, oh, hmm. That's one way of looking at it. He was just so excited. Yeah, he was just like I. I peed on myself a little bit. <laughs> Had to clean it up. <laughs> See if you can stack her out for me. Yeah. So, both Reese and I, we got dogs today. Um, so, Reese picked out, um, well, I got a picture of a Formentino male from a friend of ours. And then I showed it to Reese and I was like, we have to get this dog. And so, wow. we just, we basically decided to do a co-own on him. So we're going to we're splitting the cost of the dog, we're splitting the cost of showing the dog, but we are going to um <clears throat> we're going to campaign him, which basically means that you take him out and and you and you do lots of shows with the dog when you have like a really nice dog. There we go. Perfect, Savannah. Good job. You're doing good. Get her stacked out better though. Um girl, you better get up. I don't want to That's the laziest stack I've ever seen in my life. Start doing this showing. <laughs> Oh yeah. This dog is fantastic, man. Absolutely fantastic. I'm so glad. It's just such a it's just such a blessing to be able to have her. Um because honestly, she's nicer than her pictures. I I'm not I wasn't as impressed with her pictures if I'm being honest. I thought that maybe there were issues in the top line or croup or something like that. I really wasn't sure, but looking at her now, and I should have just trusted the breeder because he told me, he told me how nice she was, but I have severe trust issues. And so I just didn't, I was like, eh, you know, and I just, I just, you know, I just went off my opinion and, um, of what the pictures look like. And the thing about it is, is like stacks are like one of these things where if you don't, yeah, no, not fake, but like if you uh, you can make a dog look worse than it is or a dog can make itself look worse than it is in a stack. Can, like pose their body a certain way to make it look really good and like pose their body And you can pose it really and bad. make it look really bad. Yeah, like dogs can make themselves look really bad. And she was like it wasn't his fault, but she was making herself like she was br 
It didn't look like in the picture, but she was very clearly bracing. I just didn't know that because I wasn't there to see her firsthand. You know what I mean? But seeing her now, she had to have been bracing because she's a super gorgeous dog. Quiet! So, anyway. Well, I'm going to get inside, y'all. We, um, we are officially out of sunlight here. We are running on just the... Um, just the uh the sheer power of this samsung's low low light filter <laughs> so anyway but yeah i'm gonna let y'all go and i hope y'all are having a good day and i just wanted to share in this i'm super excited y'all I, I you know it's just it's a wonderful thing and i feel i'm, I'm very i feel very fortunate and i'm very thankful so anyway talk to y'all laters bye